Hello, welcome, welcome along. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe down there. And if you want to get notified of all these videos that are coming your way, hit the notifications bell as well. And if you're not new to the channel, welcome back. Hello. Right, so here we are today with part 13. Today is Saturday the uh, the 13th of April 2024. And um, part 13, lucky for some, <laughs> or unlucky for some. So uh, as you know, up to part 12, we've got all of this done. Um, we should have the uh, light here, the downward facing light in here, but I haven't fitted it because it's a nightmare again at this point. As I said in the last one, if you are building one of these and you're, you're sort of waiting to catch up, I know one person particularly said that he's buying it all and he's waiting to not to start it one day. I would thoroughly recommend fitting that light with its frame before you fit the side and the, um, and the cockpit floor and everything. It's going to be a lot easier to do then before you've got all this in the way. So um, there we are. That's how far we've got. I don't understand why we haven't fitted this side here yet. I don't get that. Um, or maybe I've missed something in the structures. I'll have to go and check back. But we shall see. Right, so part 13. So as usual, we've got the light off. We'll get the bag open. We'll get our um, our box out. So we've got a box of that's metal in there. I think it's part of the floor, isn't it? In this one. So um, here we go. We've got the magazine. So what have we got in here? I noticed that somebody commented they've taken the... Australian dollar sign price off because um, it's not available in Australia which I find hard to believe we've got New Zealand South Africa we have we ha don't have Australia there um, I'm sure it will be made available in Australia because there were Australian people in this actual in the Dambusters mission weren't there and I mean as I said in the comment to the reply it was Bill's rap that said it you know um, Lancasters and Australia go together like Lancasters in Canada you know like strawberries and cream um, so we've got the yeah, we've got a floor section here and four metal screws, so that's cool. And then here we've got oh okay, we're gonna fit that side now. <laughs> there I was saying that. Um we're gonna fit the um the bomb aimers computer, which shouldn't be there on this on this version in Dambusters. So we've got lots and lots of old parts going on here from existing models. So um as I just mentioned, uh Canada, here is the um I'm sure this is in Canada. Yes. Uh, today's centerpiece of the Nanton L Lancaster Society Air Museum. I'm sure this is in Canada, uh, but there we go. We've got a restored Lancaster there. Uh, we've got treaded tires on there, block treaded tires, but we do have the old wheels. We don't have the Lincoln wheels. And it looks like we have the original early intakes and radios as well, which is nice. Um, so, yeah, very nice indeed. FM159 is dedicated to the memory of Ian Bazalget, a Lancaster pilot who was awarded the Victoria Cross, the only Albertan to be so recognised during World War II. So there we go. So Radon Plosti, Plosti um, Romania's Plosti oil facilities were Nazi Germany's main fuel source to US bombers were sent to destroy them, but the raid was a disaster. Yeah, there's a B-24 there. You can see some more B-24s there. I've actually just this morning done the review of the brand new Airfix 124 scale Liberator. That's a B-24H. These are B-24Ds. Um, very, very nice kit, but the wheels are not very good. So uh, go and have a look at that review if you haven't seen it already. So, uh, yeah, talking about Pelosi there. And then over here, we've got what's coming next. So coming up in issue 14, it's going to be another one piece. Again, looks like it's the main wing spar. So there we go. So let's have a look at these instructions and see what it is we're going to do. So we've got the um, we've got the bag here, the, the box here with the parts. As usual, all nicely wrapped. Just like I see um, Scott doing with his uh, Titanic model. Everything's nicely wrapped and packaged. So that's all cool. That's there, that can go in the recycling. And we've got some screws in there. And we have one, two, three, four screws. They're metal screws. So once again, we're going to be doing some um, tapping. So what are we going to do here? We're going to... Uh... Okay, so the first things first is fit the bomb aimer equipment, the bomb, bomb aimer computer, which I'm not going to put in because it's not supposed to be there. Uh, it was removed on the uh, Dan Buster's link. And then we've got this side panel here going on. So we've got the... As it happens, here it is here. I have that there. Um, and I have a box of bits over here, which will have screws in it. Um, and it's telling us to actually take the port cockpit framing assembly from issue one. You will also need three CP screws supplied with issue four. Oh, blimey. It's all over the place here. So I've got a bag here. I've got, it's like I said, I've got a little um, takeaway curry pot here 
which has got that's AP. I bet the CP is the one right at the bottom. No, AP, AP, CP. There we go. Keep all the bags, keep all your screws in their little bags, and then you'll know what they are. So we've got three CP screws here. So because they're CP, it means they're plastic. And we have four, so we can put one back in the bag and keep that for, for a rainy day. So uh, what we're going to do, I'm going to get the magazine out of the way. I'm going to turn the light on so you can see better what I'm doing. So we've got our cockpit assembly here. Remember, guys, I'm going to be taking all this apart soon because we're going to be doing a video about how to do it and accurise it and stuff like that. So this side panel is going to go on here. We're not going to do any tapping because the because the uh, the parts are plastic. So that's going to pop into there. I'm also not doing any gluing because I want to take it apart again. So that's going to pop into there. There we go. That does go in. I didn't think it was going to go in then. And then on the bottom, we've got this sort of tab arrangement. So we'll get these screws in the side. Grab a screw, get it on the end of the screwdriver, get that one in there. It's up to you if you want to fit that bomb aimer's computer, you can. Um, it came with one of the early issues, I think it was with two or three. Uh, I think it was with two or three it came. Got that screw going into there, just like so, and then we've got this screw going into there so it's all going to be very strong because it's all held together with screws there's no sort of glue joints that are having to do any big major task of holding anything together so there we go that's got that in there take the bomb aimer's window o2e and turn the assembly upside down now i've got where are they i put the clear parts in a bag where are they okay there's some here right so here's one here. Uh, we're going to take this, turn this upside down. So you might want to get yourself a blanket or something to put this on. I'll quickly grab one. There we go. See if anything getting damaged. And then we can pop this clear part down onto those two pins. Okay. Now is it telling us Check the fit of the window on the pegs at the front of the other side. The glue in place, taking care not to get any glue on a window. I don't want to glue it in place because I want to take it apart. Um, and it's now coming to the point where we're going to fit the front turret. So um, I don't know how I'm going to go about this because I need to take this apart to paint it all. So I'm going to have to either stop and do my changes now or I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Of course, it doesn't want to stand up because it's round. Um, I'm going to grab a little piece of masking tape. This is cheating now, guys. I'm going to grab a little piece of masking tape and tape this in position. Okay, so don't you go doing this unless you want to take it apart again. I'm just going to tape that in position just to hold it in place. Okay, what it's telling us to do now is fit the turret. Take the gun turret assembly from issue two, position it at the nose of the model, thread the cables through the hole in the cockpit floor, left it is a tight fit so you need to push them through one at a time with a screwdriver or similar four holes in the base of the turret okay so we got the turret we have the turret here one of the turrets i've got two of them so this is all just clipped together again because i want to take it all apart so what we do here is get these cables out and we're going to thread these through a hole in the floor. So these are going to go through, are these going through into the same place? Thread the cables through the hole in the cockpit floor left. Yeah, okay, so these are going to go in there through the same hole. I'll tell you what, guys, I think I'm going to have to stop this video here and go and make my corrections video so that I can glue all these turret and everything together because I can't keep just taping everything together can I but I just want to get I, I want to get parts 13 and 14 done and then I will do my video on correcting and glue everything together I think that should hold it okay so we've got to get these through here it says it's a tight fit so we'll push that connector through there And I can imagine that 
this will be a complete pain with that light in place and all the framework there. There we go. So that one's come through there. And then we're going to put that one in through there as well. Like so. Go on. Go in, you swine. Pull that through this, we can pull them both through now. And we're going to position the turret in here. Okay, so those two pins there. Hang on, yeah, there's four pins. There's one, two, three, four, and there's four holes in the bottom of the turret. So this is just going to go down onto here. Um, dum -dum -dum -dum. The pegs must be fully inserted in there. It is advisable to glue them in place. But obviously, I don't want to do that. So what we will do is we will, when we do our modifications video, they're a tight fit in there, I tell you. I'm going to grab my tweezers. So I can put some force on there without actually, there we go, they are very tight and then we've got these up in here and they don't want to go in. They are very tight indeed. There we go. I think that one's gone in. There we are. I think they've gone in. But, uh, no, they haven't at all. Wow, this is awkward. It may actually be better to fit these to the turret and then fit the whole nose and then put these screws in. I think that might be a lot easier. Um, because basically it is not impossible to get in there and locate those holes. And, uh, but we'll look at that when we do the reassembly the second time. Right, so we've done that. So we're going to go over the page. Now it's telling us to fit, take the port nose fuselage assembly from issue one and check how it fits on the port side of the cockpit. Note the light 04P has to be fitted in the, into the hole in the base part of ONH blue arrow pegs on the inside. Of parts so when H into the holes in the frame in yellow arrows you may need to use a file to enlarge the holes in order to fit the pegs in place. So we've got our port fuselage half here. Uh, yeah I've got one there, I've got one there. Where's my other port fuselage half? Okay so that's that fitted, it's literally just pushed on. Um, there we go, it's literally just push fit just like so. And then the, the, the turret will be held in when we get this top piece on here. So then what we're going to do, we get this cloth out of the way. Make sure those cables come back and we'll have to tie those up neatly out of the way. And then we're going to fit the starboard side. So we'll find the one with the window in it. Here it is here. So we're going to fit the starboard side. So this is literally going to push in. We've got two pegs on the back of here. We've got two holes. So that is literally going to sit in those holes. Just like so, and that does not want to go in there. It's very, very tight. There we go. What I'm going to do is actually open that hole up, I think, because that is extremely tight going in there. If I can get it out again. There we go. So that pin is 3.06 millimeters diameter, which is very lucky because I have here a burr which is three millimeters diameter. So I can put that in there and just open that up. I will do the same in there. Now that should 
he says. There we go. That's better. I've, uh, perhaps a little touch too big. But um, basically what's going to happen now, this door is going to go in the bottom. So I'm going to have to find that door. We've got to go digging deep now. I'll find that door. Hang on. Okay, I found the door. So here it is. So this is going to go in and peg on each corner of the part fits the corresponding socket in the recess on the underside of the fuselage. So basically this <clears throat> is going to hold, whoops, it's twice I've dropped that. It's going to hold all this together. So we're going to put that pin in there, put that pin in there. There we go. That's pushed in there and that's going to hold all that nose together, which is great. It's looking lovely. Isn't it? Ignore that bit of masking tape. Now that won't be there on yours and it won't be on, on, on this one in a minute. So uh, there we go. So that's all our front. Um, perhaps when we put the nose blister on it will pull that together. But uh, it would be nice to close that gap up somehow. Not quite sure how we're going to do it, but uh, we will find a way. Right, so. Completed work. Work has continued on the cockpit, fitting the forward gun turret and the panels of the fuselage. So <laughs> we have dug back through many, many parts and we have not yet used, we have not used the part they're giving us. The floor section supplied here will be fitted in a future issue. Thanks for that. <laughs> so there we go. That's part 13 done. Well, kind of <laughs> partly done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go straight away now and film part 14. And then what I can do is take it all apart and then I'll, I will do my video about doing all the corrections and everything before we start on part 15. See you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.